When you think about a typical power system for an aircraft, it comprises of power generation, primary secondary power distribution, power conversion, and energy management system like battery and battery electronics. Traditionally, air framers would buy the different electrical power components from different suppliers and they will put them together on the aircraft and it will work just fine. But as the complexity of the hardware and software system kept on increasing, these components won't work together first time on the aircraft. So air framers started feeling the pressure on cost and schedule, and they eventually decided to have their own system integration lab, which they call Copperbird or Ironbird. This approach really helped the air framer to identify issues in the lab during the integration, and they were able to troubleshoot and isolate the problem. However, air framer faced three inherent issues with this particular approach. The first, when the air framer would integrate the system in their lab, it would take a longer time because they would not have received all the prototype systems from the supplier, which added to the overall schedule of the top level program and caused entry into service delays. Secondly, when the air framer would integrate the system in the lab, they will find a problem. They will have to depend on the supplier expertise to support them and supplier would not have the similar lab setup in their facility. And the third, with the increasing complexity of the hardware and distributed functionality and architectures, the interfaces become so vague between different suppliers, which really made it very challenging for the air framers to identify the root cause, working with different suppliers, and assign responsibility to solve the problem. This gave the birth to the idea of Epicenter, Electrical Power Integration System Research and Development Center. GE Epicenter is a state-of-art research and development facility located on University of Dayton campus in Dayton, Ohio. This state-of-art facility has capability across the electrical power system testing, integration, research and development, real-time modeling simulation, and hardware in loop testing. So the vision for the epicenter is beyond copper bird testing. So the idea would be to integrate electrical power system along with the avionics, engines, thermal, and various other labs within GE and eventually provide access to the customer to access GE labs remotely. The Epicenter lab has a capability to support six wide-body large aircraft programs simultaneously and provide the capability to test the power system from half a megawatt to two and a half megawatt and also provide state of art vibration, thermal, shock, and altitude capability. Some of our customers ask us, what's in it for us. By having a bigger system integration capability like Epicenter, we ensure that the product is mature, reliable, and robust before we deliver it to the customer. And by doing significant testing and integration, we move the risk and cost from customer to us, GE. And when the customer receives the system for us and they put it on the aircraft, it will work the first time, which will ensure the high dispatch rate after entry into service.